Jamie Lee Komorowski is reportedly charged with driving under the influence resulting in death, two counts of DUI with great bodily injury, and reckless homicide. Jamie was indicted by a grand jury for the crash that killed her bride, Samantha Miller, on her wedding night. The crash occurred on April 28, 2023. Jamie was denied bond on August 1st and is currently awaiting trial. These are the full video calls she made while in jail at the Charleston County Sheriff's Department. They are from the months of April and May of 2023. I will be releasing part two soon with the remaining video calls for this time period. If you would like more details on this case, please go watch the first video I made about Jamie Komorowski. Yay! You're in the car? Yeah, I was gonna go to the grocery store and then I was like, oh shoot, it's Jamie time. Yay! Where are you going? This hair is Cedar. What are you gonna get? Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna get like a salad. With what? I don't know. I'm just get like the pre-made ones. No, like chicken or salmon. I don't know. I'm feeling lazy. Aren't you gonna be hungry? That's how many. I had a lot of taco though for lunch. I I didn't get to eat dinner yet today. I don't know what it's gonna be. Lunch oh. today was a. <laughs> It was two slices of white bread, an uncooked piece of bologna, like this big, uncooked piece of bologna, and then like cabbage and two cookies. Oh, you got two cookies? Do you get any like condiments, like mayonnaise or mustard? Or no, no, <laughs> no. They, they fed us hot dogs one night. Two hot dogs and no ketchup or anything. Oh my gosh. No buns or anything. It's so, it's so bad. But I just got my snack pack in the mail today. So I have Doritos and um, cookies. There's, these cookies are so addicting. I already ate like 20 of them today. So the cookies that they give you for dessert, sometimes you get cookies and sometimes you get cake. These cookies that they give you at this jail, I'm going to start buying them when I come home. I'm not getting them. Oh, my gosh. And I really like their soap. The soap? Yeah. You, so you're allowed to shower? <laughs> yeah. That's good. Only I, during I, rec I, time, though. I Only during know. rec time. And you want, you want to know what's fucked up? Here's the fucked up thing. So... I'm not in, like, the regular part, like, upstairs because of everything, like, on the news and everything, uh, whatever. Like, they just think I'd be safer down here. They want me down here where it's, like, mm -hmm. safer, less people, whatever. But up there, they get four hours of rec time, mm -hmm. um, and it's, like, at 12 and then at, like, 4 or something, or, like, 10 and then, like, 4. Our rec time hours are from 7 to 9, and then if you want to do rec between 12, p 12 a.m. and 2 a.m., you can do that, too. <laughs> oh, my God. So I'm stuck in my cell, like, all day. But guess what? What? So you have to, like, my dad said not for you not to, like, talk to anyone about, like, this or anything, but um, the deputy sheriff, like, whatever, like the head person of Charleston County, I mm -hmm. met with her today. And she's, like, trying to help me out. That's good. And she, like, is like, you don't need to, like, I don't want you in here. Like, you should be with your family, like, blah, blah, blah. So that's, like, really good. That is good. Yeah. I mean. <sighs> so then I can hopefully be home sooner. Yeah, that would be good. Mm -hmm. Is there any word? Did you have, like, your uh, your bond hearing yet or no? No, that's what I'm waiting for. That's I have to wait for that to, like, get out, basically. But, like, she's the head deputy, whatever, 
she was really nice too. I think her name is Kirsten DeMontes or something. But um, she was just, she's really nice and um, I think she's gonna help me. That's good. Aren't you supposed to have yeah. the, the bond thing on like Tuesday or Wednesday? No, that's when I talk to my lawyer. Oh, that's when you talk to your lawyer? Yeah, I'm talking to my lawyer, I think, Wednesday, for, like, the first time in person. And, um, yeah. That's good. But, so, that was good news today. And Sarah, yeah, so I think things are looking up. Things are looking up. But, um... Sarah, Sarah messaged me. That was really nice of her. Yeah, I, uh, I was at her house yesterday. So yeah. She was like, her, like, apartment? No, like, I went to their new house they're building. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. Yeah, I'm I was sure out it with, is. to play tennis, and then I went out on the boat with my partner, Jeff, and then we boated to their house. And then parked I'm so by. jealous. Yeah. I didn't really want to tell you, but... It's okay. We can do it but, together soon. Mm-hmm. But I, I was talking to her, and she's like, how are you? How's things going? I was like, oh, it's good. And she was like, how's Jamie? And I was like, uh... It's complicated. She's like, what's going on? And I was like, uh... And she she like, didn't oh already gosh. know? No. So, I was like, yeah, it's, you know, and she's like, can I, like, go visit her? Like, I want to go visit her, like, tomorrow. I was like, Aww. I was like, no, but, like, you can, like, messenger on this and, like, so calls. And she so was like, sweet. she was like, tell me how, and I'll messenger right away. So she, Aww. then she messaged Yeah, me. I messaged her back. She's so nice. Yeah, she's buying me lunch tomorrow. <laughs> Where are you going to go? I don't know. Where should I go? Kava. Kava. Or. I mean, I'll, let, I'll let her pick. She's fine. Yeah, you want to pick something like good, but not like too expensive. You know, like you well, want to get I your money's their, worth. I saw their new house. I think they can afford it. I'm so jealous. Yeah, it was crazy. I went to, so we were playing, I was playing tennis yesterday at 8 in the morning. So I had to get to, like, my partner's house at 7 a.m. It was so early. And he was like, oh, like, park in the, in the circle, right? And I was like, oh, okay, like, he lives in, like, a cul-de-sac or something, right? I pull up to his house, and he lives in, like, a mansion. He had, like, a circle in his driveway. I was like, I, like, I was like, and this guy's like super chill, like, wears like dirty clothes all the time. I was like, this cannot be Jeff's house. That, like, I, no that's way. the guy I watched you play with that showed up a little bit late that one time, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, um, Prince drove with us. Prince! Mm -hmm. The Prince. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's going to be us one day. Oh, yeah. But okay. you're not going to be Prince. I'm going to be Sarah, and you're going to be her husband. I'll be Prince, and you're the princess. How about that? Mm. <laughs> no, I don't want you to be Prince. Well, I'm just saying in general. Yeah, you can be a Prince, but not the Prince that you play tennis with. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How are, I don't, it doesn't look like you have dreadlocks. What's going on? Oh, let me show you. Hold on. So they didn't have a comb today. So the best thing that he said that he'd had is like I guess these things that they used to like. Oh, for like it's probably like a razor, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I used this to brush my hair, and all this came out. Oh my god, like, why are you keeping that? Because I, I don't like have anywhere that? to put it right now. Oh, okay. I'm keeping it so I can send it to you in the mail so you can sniff it. 
<laughs> I don't think I'm going to want to sniff that. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's uh, that thing behind you, Jamie? What is that, like, machine thing? What machine? Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, that? That's where you can order your commissary. Oh. So and your you, snack like, pack. So you're not, like, in your room right now, right? No, this is, like, the rec room. Mm. Well, can I, can, like, do you have enough for another snack pack? Can I, like, order you one? Or, like... No, I can get one, but my dad puts money on my account, and I, it's nice. I have tablets now, so I can, like, buy movies and stuff, but... Yeah, you told me you are going to watch a movie, and tell me which one, so we could both watch it and talk about it. I know, I gotta look, but... I gotta look. I gotta pick one tonight. I've I've already read two books since I've been here. <laughs> Whoa, that's good. <sighs> yeah. You said you're working out too. The one you would the one book you would actually really like. It's about um, the Olympic Games in Brazil, and basically there's like this evil guy. He starts off nice, but then he becomes evil, and he wants to, like, give back to the poor because, like, the rich people built the stadium but, like, took from the poor people. And so it's, like, a mm -hmm. spy, like... But it's, like, they're in Brazil, so it's, like, cool. You like it. That's pretty cool. Wow. I'm glad that little girl shared her grapes with you. I know. It was so, like... We went on the boat, and then we were going to watch the basketball game. Um, and, like, Jeff, like, got me a chair, and his daughter's, like, at the pool. Her name's Ever, Everly or something. So they call her Evie, like what Rick calls me. That's so um, cute. I love that. She was really cute. She's four. And so Jeff, like, got me a chair, and I was like, can I sit here? And she was like, no. And I was like... I was like, okay, like, that's fine. I was like, can I sit on the floor? She's like, yeah, sit on the floor. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I sat on the floor. I didn't care. Um, and then there was, like, grapes and snacks. And I was like, oh, are these grapes? Like, can I have one? And she's like, no, those are my grapes. And her mom was like, have you a chair? I was like, oh, it's okay. I was like, have you, can I have a grape, please? She's like, no. Nah. I was like, please. And then she's like, okay. So she grabbed me one and then like, put it in my hand, but like, dropped it, so it went on the ground. And she was like, ha, ha. And so I was like, oh, it's okay. So I ate it anyway. She was like, ew. Oh, that's so cute. And then I got another one. And then um, I was about to leave, and I was like, bye, Evie. Like, nice to meet you. And she was like, bye. And I was like, can I have a high five? And she was like, no. Nah. I was like, what about, like, a fist bump? And she's like, no. And I was like, I was like, can I have a hug? And she was like, no. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, okay, bye. So then I picked her up and gave her a big hug. And she was like, Aah! I was like, well, you didn't say it good. So I just went ahead. And, like, she was, like, laughing. And her dad was laughing. So it was Oh, that's so cute. I mm -hmm. wish I saw that. We That's played adorable. dodgeball. What? Yeah, we played freeze dodgeball with like bounce balls and stuff. And then I won. I want to play dodgeball. What the fuck? Stop doing fun things without me. What am I so serious? We need to start playing pickleball. Yeah, I'm down. You only need two players. That's right. And I could fuck you up in pickleball. I know that. No, you I, couldn't. We play, we play pickleball in high school. I learned how to play pickleball in high school. You would not fuck me up in pickleball. Yes. No shot. <laughs> no way. We're just going to have to wait and see. Oh, my God. My roommate, though. My roommate. <laughs> The girl I'm with right now, get this. The reason she's in here is because she missed court, but she like didn't know she had it. She lives in Isle of Palms, but she's a drug addict, so she's going through withdrawals. 
like she looks like she's like homeless, but like she definitely has money. She's like lives in Isle of Palms. She said she lived there her whole life, and so she has to wait two months until her court trial because they're like, you missed the first one, you're not going to miss the second one. We're keeping you here until whatever, and she's going through withdrawals, and then all of a sudden she's like, get the nurse get the nurse and I'm like are you okay and she's like I'm having hallucinations I can't, I'm hearing things through the walls and I was like uh and then <laughs> I like banged on the window and the nurse guy was like and the guy was like uh the nurses are on lunch right now so she's gonna have to wait and I was like well can I like go to a different room he's like you'll be fine and then he just closed the door on me <laughs> Oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy? And I was just sitting in the corner like... Oh my gosh. Trying to think of what else. But yeah, I'm just so happy I got that good news today. She was so nice, that lady. And that she, something similar happened, I guess, like to someone that she knew personally. And so she like related to the story. And like she like was just like really relating to me and she just seemed really like sincere and like she really wants to help and like so I'm really happy and um, she also is the one that got my mom and dad able to like visit me like in person like through a glass but like in person mm -hmm. that's good so she's really nice good. so good. Well, I'm, I'm we only have a minute left I know baby well I'm I'll try to, um, I'll see if I can schedule one before I go to Europe, but otherwise... Yeah, I'll you have to. Everything. Try to schedule one, like, um, you'll probably be busy, like, Wednesday night, but, or, like, Wednesday, or... Yeah, but I can, I'm sure I can find, like, 30 minutes or something, so... Okay. All right, baby, will you call me tomorrow, too? Yeah, I'll call you tomorrow. I have so okay. much to tell you about. There's so much that's going on around here. <laughs> oh, I don't care. I just want to talk to you. I know. I can't wait so to see you. I'm going to cry so hard when I see you. Yeah, me too, probably. I'm going to cry, like, really ugly cry. Me too, probably. Okay, good. When you first told me, because if you don't, because like, if if you cry. don't ugly cry, then I'm breaking up with you. So, and you better have a vape. You better have a vape for me. Okay, we only have two seconds. I love you. Okay, I love you too. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, I love you. Bye. Hi, Daddy. -o. Hey, baby. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. We have to start learning how to speak to each other on the video call because there's like a three second delay because they're recording. So after I talk, you kind of have to wait like a couple of seconds before you talk because my lips will start stop moving, but you'll still be hearing me. Okay. I gotcha. Right? Right? right. Mm -hmm. That's when it gets all jumbled up when we're talking to each other. We have no idea what we're talking about. Yeah. You're right. How are you? I'm good. Okay. Better than shitty. Yeah, it's just a CJ's birthday. Well, let me tell you something. They ain't doing shit anyway. You ain't missing nothing. Yeah, but I love him. And it just makes me think of everyone. I know. Well, I'm here, and guess what? They ain't doing nothing. They don't want to do nothing. Yeah. I mean, you know, I they sent CJ his birthday money, and I didn't even get a thank you out of little shit. Well, I spoke with the lawyers today. I know. 
Mm-hmm. How do you like them? I like them. They're top notch. They're hot to chop. They seem really good. Who? They seem really good. They are really good. The main, the main, the, the, the people that I actually sat with last Thursday when I was basically kind of like interviewing them uh, was Chris and Deb. Main thing is like co-counsel and is help and is helping with the case. Yeah, they're all one team. There's one team, three people. Now, just to fill you in, Nathan, well, let's start with Chris. Chris is an ex-Navy commander. He was the state attorney under Chris Christie. And he was also the state the prosecutor for Monmouth County. That's good. Deb worked with Chris Christie on, remember the Bridgegate scandal? Yeah. Well, she was the one that was in charge of dealing with the media for Chris Christie on that whole issue. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. And she was also a state prosecutor and attorney. And they met when they were prosecutors, got married. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah. And they're they're very nice. Yeah, they're really nice. I like them a lot. I and Nathan. Just get, yeah. And Nathan, I don't know, but I do know that he was the prosecutor. Remember when that guy, that kid, uh, shot up the church, the black church in South Carolina, Nate, uh, what's his name, Dylan uh, Hood or something like that? Nathan put him in jail for life. Which is a good thing, because he's a scumbag, Dylan. He's a crap. Yeah. Right? I'm just like I'm just I'm just like I I trust them so much and I I know it's, they're a really good team. I just still get so nervous about what like the end is gonna be. You need to talk into the handset, baby. You got that thing like hanging out by your waist. There you go. Don't give me the eye roll. I said I'm just nervous about how it's all gonna end up. Well, listen. Um, you should be nervous how it's going to all end up because that's something to be nervous about. That's that's normal, okay? But at the same time, we can't be doing any better than what we're doing. We got the best team to help you. Right? I still just don't know why this had to happen to me. Because bad things happen to good people, honey. That's why. It's just, it's just fate. It's just something that happened to you, and we are going to deal with it the best we can. Okay. And it's life altering. You're, you're, you're going to, you know, uh, experience stuff that you never thought of, and when it's all over and done with, and everything is finished. You're going to be a better person when it's over. Because you're going to have an understanding of what it's like kind of on the other side of the coin, you know. And, you know, I I think Dev is going to talk to you. Now, Dev Dev is going to be the one, from what I understand, that's going to actually have the most interaction with you. Yeah, I don't care about... Yes, I know that. I know that. I'm just worried. Okay, well, I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to go to prison for 15 years. I don't think that that's going to happen, sweetie. I really do not think that. Now, it's not going to be that long. Okay? 
And you're going to have to do time. But I doubt, I, I think myself it's going to be substantially less than 15 years. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'm doing everything I can. I what? hired the right people. I hired the right people. I got everything lined up. No one has a better team than you to prevent that from happening. I know. Thank you so much. Oh, please, Jamie. Of course, I love my Jamie. You know that I, when I was te when I was emailing and texting them today, I told them that you're my sweetie. That's my pet name for you. <laughs> okay. I didn't tell them that your pet name for me is Daddy O. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Okay? Yeah. I got a little smile at you, huh? I just can't wait to get out of here. Oh, listen, but you know. Is you mom going to come live with me in South Carolina or am I going to go to New Jersey? I'm going to do everything. Uh, not me, but our team will call them. It's going to do everything to get you bonded to New Jersey. But then what about Evan? Jamie, now's not the time to be worried no, about I'm Evan. Saying, but I thought maybe Mom could live with me. No, baby. Mom, is, Mom can't move to South Carolina. And listen, when you talk to her, your mom, you know, first of all, she's very upset that she missed your call. Right? Okay. And I, you should call her when we're done. Okay. <clears throat> but, think of it this way. Mom moving to South Carolina would be a huge break in her life. You're talking about her selling her home, quitting her job. I thought that maybe CJ would just take care of the house. But I'll go to New Jersey. It's okay. It's, I'll go to New Jersey. Well, put it this way, you, you know, it, it, New Jersey is where it's most stable for you. Yeah. And, and, and Jamie, nothing for nothing, you, you kind of, you know, you kind of have to think of what's most important. Yeah, Evan, is a, I've been texting Evan and everything. I like Evan a tremendous amount. No, I don't want to talk to you about Evan. Okay. We won't. Okay. It makes me sad. I just, I love him. I don't want to. Well, listen, Jamie. I understand that. But, you know, you, you have to deal with, with, with reality. Okay? Yes. I mean, you know, if you, if, 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 first of all, it could be 12 weeks before Barn. Yeah, I know that. So you have to realize that that's three months. Yeah, or it could be four. Or it could be two. They are trying to get it expedited. And that's why we got these hot to trot attorneys on, okay? They are going to try to get you a bond for hearing as soon as possible. They're going to file paperwork. Going to contact their their people that they have relationships with within the county and try to get your bond hearing expedited. How did you know about um, the deputy sheriff, lady? <laughs> well, what happened was is she called me asked me to call her. At that time was when Chris and Deb gave me a statement to give to anybody that asks about you a kind of boilerplate. Everybody, I told everybody, your sister, your mother, your brother, your grandma, grandpa, everybody, that if anybody asks about you, that you are only to say Call Jamie's attorney, and I gave the name of the law firm, 
Kingston Coventry and Deb and Chris Ramahuchi, whatever the Italian name is. I, can't, I don't even know how to pronounce that shit yet. And, you know, and gave the phone number. And I sent that to her. Then she texted, this is all in text, she texted me back that, she, you know, it wasn't a legal issue. She just wanted to talk to me about family stuff. Okay? Then what happened was after that, I told Chris what the conversation was. Now, Chris has a relationship with uh, Sheriff Graziano. They know each other. Okay? So I said it to Chris, and Chris, and I said, I would like to call her because I don't want to disrespect this lady. And Chris said she is a really nice person, and he encouraged me to call her. And I spoke to her. So that's how the whole thing happened with Sheriff Garcia. Okay, that's good. And she's really nice, right? Mm -hmm. right. So I think she. I feel. Was I just feel a little bit better now. I just don't want to like. I'm just excited to like get bond and then just keep going after that and take it step by step. Jamie, it's, you know what, it's, it's just like when somebody you know, has a, you know, a life-altering issue sitting in their life. You take it not only day by day, you take it hour by hour. Every hour you get through is one hour behind you. Every day you get through is one day behind you. Every week you get through is one week behind you. Don't think too far into the future. You take care of yourself right now for the next hour, two hours, you know. Uh, you know, make it till make it till it lights out, right? Mm -hmm. And and that's how you get through. I just can't wait to hug everyone. I just can't wait to hug everyone. Jamie, I want to hug you so bad. But listen, now that you talked about that, your wacko mother just texted me. Okay, you want to hear what it was? You want me to read this wacko text to you from your mother? Don't tell her I told you this, okay? Because you're going to be calling me. Are you ready for this text? Are you, are you sitting? Yeah. Here we go. From your mom. This is her texting. I have noticed all the signs from you that tell me Cindy is your girlfriend now. You couldn't even hug me automatically when you saw me. I had to ask you for a hug. You also didn't look at me in the eyes one time when we were toasting to James. Good luck. <laughs> that was, is she screwball or what? Then, then, before I got the response, she was quick on the text, she goes, You also haven't mentioned her. Your no reply confirms it. I didn't even get, it was so fast, I didn't even get the answer the first one time. So, I, I texted back, LOL, wacky, she is absolutely not my girlfriend, in capital letters. I don't ever want a girlfriend. Dealing with you and my kids are more than enough to deal with. You are wacky. And then she texted me back just now. Okay. I'm, I'm so worried for our baby. I'm sorry. Your mom's like wacko. I know. <laughs> That's why we love her. Cindy's your girlfriend. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's she can't up. even care anymore. She's well, of course she's always going to care, but... Cindy, Cindy is a very good friend of mine, okay? Yeah. She was up here to do doctors and lawyers stuff, and we went to lunch two Saturdays in a row, and, uh, and uh, you know, it was a good time, and we talked, and this was before the whole shit hit the fan. Yeah, right? good for you. You're allowed to do that. 
And she's just a good friend, that's all. That's this fine. Time. I don't care. You can do whatever you want. You can have a girlfriend if you want. I don't want a girlfriend. I love you, mama. I love you, kid. And that's all I give a shit about, okay? Okay. Right? Yeah. So, but so she Dad, when I, when I have my bond thing, they're going to give me a date and they're going to say, okay, it's going to be on this day. They're probably going to give me, what, like a week's head notice or something? Um, I don't know. I started, now remember, Jamie, this, this is so new. I mean, all, I, it's Thursday, I retained the attorney. So, yeah, you figure I'll five, figure it out. I'll figure it out. I just, okay, I, I get it. You don't know. You don't know. I'll try to figure it out. But what I'm saying is, I'm just wondering, like, so, like, after I pay bond and stuff, like, are you and mom going to pick me up? We're going to, I'm going to be at the bond here in court with you. Okay. Uh, okay? Mm hmm. I will be there sitting there in court with you. Period. Okay. Good. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Maybe when nobody's looking, I might come over and, like, give you a hug. I'll jump over the fucking bow the chairs and shit and come and get you, okay? Okay. Yeah. I don't know if that's so a good idea. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I'm going to go for it. Yeah. But we got a lot of good information to everyone today, so that was good. It was a productive meeting that we all had. Well, let me tell you. I talked to Deb and Chris. You know, on a, on, a, on a cell call, they were in a car, so I was talking to both of them, you know what I mean? And they both like you very much. They think you're an absolute sweetheart. They think that you are very smart, and you're going to be very helpful with the case. Um, and, and Deb says that, you know, she hugged you, and she really felt the connection. And that is so important to have the case progress, okay? That uh, you and her particularly get along. Don't, don't, she's a Jersey girl. Don't give her the Jersey eye roll and smirk, please. <laughs> okay? Because yeah. guess what? She'll probably give you the Jersey eye roll and smirk back. I told her she smelled good. Have you told her that she smelled good? She loved it. I'm telling you. They, they were very, uh, they were very happy to meet you, and they liked you a lot. And that, that not, not just because you're the client, because they truly do like you. Yeah. I'm just so happy that you were able to get, like, such good people to, like, help me, like. You want to hear, so you want to hear? people. Want to there's hear so something? many people that there's so many people that don't even like they can't even afford like to get a lawyer or anything and I'm just I just feel so lucky that I have such good people that are able to help me. Jamie, that's what Daddy O does. Okay? Don't even think about it. Don't you don't need to thank me. This is this is what Daddy O does. Because he loves his he loves his kids. Okay? No question about it. Okay? Not, not even... Hold on, the train's going by. <coughs> I missed that train. Yeah, well... I, I kinda... Kinda got used to it. Okay? Well, the good thing is, also, I was thinking, like, even when you do... When you, like, have to do time or whatever, a lot of the time you can get out on, like, good behavior and stuff, and so they'll cut it, like, in half. Absolutely. Absolutely. But don't think about that yet. That's, in the, that's way in the future. That's a year down the road. Okay? There's no sense the in The future that I'm thinking about, the future that I'm thinking about is when all of this is done, and I'm just, when all of this is done, and I can just be happy, and I think that you're right, because I think it will teach, it. it's going to be, obviously, it's going to teach me a lot, so. Well, one of the things that you had just said in the past couple of minutes is, is that you understand that you and I are lucky that I can, you know, get lawyers like the ones I got for you, and that a lot of people can't. So maybe when you get out, you can be an advocate 
for the people. These, these, you're going to be living with these people a while. You're going to make friendships, and you might decide that this is what you want to do, is help these people. Mm -hmm. Right? Who I'm knows? I'm not, saying, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that, but it could be, right? No, no, I was thinking <laughs> about it. Like, I was thinking about, like, what kind of, like, like, what I would want to do, like, after, like, if I would want to try to, like, become, like, I don't know, like, study law or something with the time that I have, or, like, or, like, just come up with a plan for, like, philanthropy or something, you know? Right, well, Deb has, uh, I think, a girl that had to do some time like you had to do, and now she is an advocate for something that she changed her life and turned it around and now she she does something on the good side and then changed her for the good and now she helps with I think incarcerated people mm -hmm. so you know as you get to talk to her maybe you ask her about that and I think that yeah. she would get you in touch with her and kind of, she'll let you know how she went and went with her and she got to where she is now. Yeah. Okay. I'm just excited to get answers, but we're just going to take it day by day and hopefully that the volunteering comes soon and then I can get home to everyone and then we can go from there. Right. My, my, my goal and what I would like to see is of course a bond hearing as soon as possible. I will be in the courtroom with you and that I get you bonded or they get you bonded with my cooperation and you come home and you live with your mom. Mm -hmm. Okay? You two can hang out, go to the beach, you know. That's talk fine. About, I'm fine with that. Talk about life talk about, you know, how things are different now because of what happened. And and mm -hmm. you know, and, and you know, and you know, start your life with what has happened, you know, to you. Okay? And again, you know, bad things happen to wonderful people and that's what happened. Now you have to make the best of the situation. Okay? Okay. And I know you're going to especially you're thinking about it already. <laughs> Look, there's like three minutes, 45 seconds left. Now, I have a question. Mm -hmm. You see my shirt? <laughs> Your mama says I should get a new one. And I'm like, what do you mean? This, is, this shirt's okay. <laughs> so it's got a little hole in it. What's the, you know, what's the big deal? I still got I two arms. I'm so I'm so excited to go to like alumni games in the future. Where coastal? Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, okay. Well, listen. Like again, we, you're thinking you're thinking years down the road. I know, but that'll be fun. Yeah, oh, it will be. So, right? I'm so happy. Now listen, last couple of minutes, I want to talk a little bit more about your schedule. First of all, you can't make a video call between 3.55 and 7.10. All right? Okay. I want to know when the best time to video call you with me. Sometimes, 7.10. Huh? 7.10. Okay, because sometimes you need a break at say you have your breakfast, you have your lunch at 12. No, you know, 7 is good. 7 is good. 7 is good because it's right before my rack. Okay, because, you know, I'm thinking also maybe if you want like 2 or 3 to break your day up. Because I, I could video you from my office. So you, you have breakfast, lunch, and then break up between lunch and, uh, and rack. I'll think about that and I'll video calls. Huh? For now, just keep it at 710 and I'll think about it. Think about it. Okay? That's why I wanted to talk to you about okay. Now look, it's a minute and 45 seconds. So, we're going to talk until they kick us off this freaking thing, okay? 
So right now, well, let me you tell you what I did. I started. I was so bored the other day that I downloaded a textbook on the iPad, and it's all about animals, and it's just the biology of animals, and it starts literally from like monkeys, and it's like primitive apes or, or manu whatever, and then it's the five different types of monkeys, and then there's this type, and then I listed all those different types of monkeys, and they're called. And, and then there's this types of monkeys, and I started doing that. That's how bored okay. I am. Let me know when you get to the snake section. Well, I want to know when the heck I'm going to get my coloring pencils. Well, listen, the other thing is, baby, first of all, I'm going to tell you, but I love you so very much. You are my sweetie, and I'm going to do everything I can to get you bonded out of there to your mom's house. You understand? As soon as possible. And I love you with all my heart. Okay? I love you too, daddy -o. I know. So let's keep talking, because we've got 35 seconds. I'm going to kick us off. Well... The plan is get me bonded out as soon as possible to get to mommy's so I can be with mommy and Joey and Theo and you and CJ and Kelsey and give everyone big hugs and kisses. Right. Don't forget to call your mom tonight and don't forget I to will. call your sister because she gets jealous when you don't call her and you call other people. <laughs> okay. She's like, why doesn't Jamie call me more? I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay. I love you. Kissy flip. <laughs> Don't Bye. tell nobody about this. I won't. Right? There she is. Hello. Hey, babe. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I uh, suck at golf. Oh. So. Not uh, I, I was, was hoping I was you were doing. I was hoping you were gonna do good. So was I. Wow. Well, I was with Grandma and Grandpa though. Did Uncle Steve go? No, he forgot he had a doctor's appointment. Oh, okay. How was Grandma and Grandpa? Good. Good. Uh, we had a good time, you know, talking and playing golf, you know. Okay. So, uh, did you get your commentary? Nope. I guess Alrighty. it's late. They said, they said it's late. Okay, well, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, did I was just get looking forward to it all day so I could color. I just want to color so bad. I'm gonna, I have to yeah. ask them if, I, I think that you guys can send me stuff. I'll find that out. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. I did the e-message today. Yeah, I replied to you. I got it. I just got it mm -hmm. a couple minutes ago, actually. You know, because I signed on to, I signed on to the, the uh, securities, you know? Oh, good. Yeah. I got to do one of these with uh, Mommy and Kelsey and CJ soon. What? I said, I have to do one of these with Mommy, Kelsey, and CJ soon. Right, right. Hey, you know, you should you should call your sister and your brother. I called, I was on the phone with CJ on his birthday, and I just, I messaged Kelsey today, but it's hard because I don't have headphones right now. The only oh. phone I can use, and, well, I have headphones, but the speaker thing doesn't work. I have to order them. Did so the only phone it? I can use is during, I have to wait till next Thursday now. Yeah, I funded uh, your I, I, fu I funded your commissary. Yeah, thank you. I have to. I'll I'll, I'll call Kelsey from this phone though. Uh, when yeah. we're done, I can call from the other phone. Yeah, let let it, let her know she was concerned that you weren't calling her because of the headphones. Yeah, but I'll okay. let her know. All right. But well, dinner dinner today was chilly with plain macaroni, two slices of white bread, and... They're big, they're big on that white bread, aren't they? It's every meal. But I have to eat it because otherwise they get hungry and they don't care. Of course they don't care. I don't know. The salad portion is like this big, but... Hmm. 
It's like so tiny, but I like the salad. All right, all right. Well, let's see. You know, you keep. Uh, and then you know. I keep my cookies for later. I keep my cookies for before I go to bed. All right. What time is lights out? Lights out. Yeah. 11. They take my tablet at 11. I try to be like almost asleep at 11 because I like to fall asleep to a podcast. So I'll keep my tablet on and like try to fall asleep to a tap like to a podcast. And then either if I'm sleeping, they'll just keep the tablet there, or if I'm like kind of awake, they'll like take it. But I try to be asleep by then because I don't like falling asleep without having something to listen to. Yeah, me neither, me neither. But maybe you should try, you know, a book. I've been reading a book. I've been reading a book called The Quest. It's really good. What is it? It's called The Quest. The Quest? The Quest. The Quest. Yeah, okay. All right. Good, good, good. It's, um, it's about... You should do that at night to go to sleep. It says a podcast. Dad, I do that all day. I'm um, reading all day. I'm reading like 200 pages of a book a day. Oh, okay. I didn't, you know. <laughs> you know you but can, but no, just, no, that helps. That helps too. And I work out and stuff. Um, but um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the book. It's pretty cool. It's about like. So I don't even know this, but I guess like in the 20s or the 30s, like around Hitler's time, Italy wanted to like gain territory in Ethiopia. Oh, yeah. So, it's Mussolini. about, it starts off, it starts off with this, yeah, Mussolini, and it starts off with this Italian priest who goes with five other priests on a sacred mission to find this, like, secret temple where apparently, like, the goblet that Jesus drinks the wine out of is, and it's in the jungles in Ethiopia, but then he gets caught, um, and he gets put in prison, and then the people can't kill him because he's a priest, so they have to just, like, keep him alive. So he's in a cell for 40 years. So then it's, like, the what? 70s, and then war breaks out, and he escapes because there's, like, war, and these three, like, journalists who are, like, journaling, like, the, um, the wars find him, and the priests tell him, tell them about, like, the secret, like, where the temple is, and that the gauntlet that Jesus drank from is still in the temple, and that oh, the it has grail. his blood in it. Yeah, yeah, the, the Holy, Holy Grail, grail. or whatever. The Holy Grail is there, and it has his blood, and there's a saber that drips Jesus' blood into it consistently, and that the blood, if you put the blood on, like, a wound, it, like, heals it immediately. Um, and then the Pope dies. So then they have to, like, go on this major, like, quest or whatever. They get taken by, like, the Ethiopian freaking Ghanaian army, and they're going to, like, kill them and stuff, but then they let them all go. Now they're all meeting back up in, like, Rome again. So, and but they're going to go back. So. Okay. All right. Sounds good. How far are you into the book? So on page, like, 210 or something, and there's, like, 600 pages. Okay, so you're a third group. Yeah. You should read it. It's good. I feel like it's a book that you would actually like. Um, yeah, there's actually a movie with Tom Hanks that is mm -hmm. similar to the story that you're reading. Um, the author, his last name is Brown, but uh, talks about a lot of the same things you're talking about. The Illuminati, yeah. the, Illuminati the Holy Grail, you know, and, and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, yeah. Right, listen, listen. So, it seems that uh, the media is trying to contact you in the center there. In what? Where you're at. What media? Like uh, some kind of newspaper or, or, or TV or radio or something wanted to interview you. Did they get to me? Um, I don't know. It was something that was told to me by Chris, the attorney. So uh, the only you, person I talked to was people that have that work at the jail. All right, good. Well, the whole thing is, is and Chris, you know, again, capital letters. Do not talk to anybody about the case. Yeah. 
Okay. It's very important. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nobody's fucking business. Right? right? Yeah. Except me, the lawyers, not even your mama. Why? That just, like, makes me scared that the media is so involved in it. Why are they so involved in it? Like... Um, because it, it sells newspapers. That's why, baby. But that's not going to help me, like... Oh my god, that's gonna be so bad when I get out. Everybody's gonna be so mean to me. Not me. Yeah, not you. Not your mama. Your sister might be a little mean to you. <laughs> I saw the smirk. So. But listen, Jamie, it is what it is. The whole idea now is is to do the best we can and to hell with everybody else. It's your, it's me, your family, and you. Okay? Grandma, grandpa, mom, Kelsey, CJ. Okay? That's all that matters now. Yeah, else but then what if they send me away for a really long time? Um, well, we're trying to avoid that, aren't we? We can't, cannot do anything more than what we're doing. You know what they said about your attorneys, right? What? <laughs> they said, the family must be mafia to hire them to keep The other thing they didn't is, say that. I swear to God. They also You're said, well, they also said that they must be really wealthy to hire these people. So that's what they're saying about her turn. Yeah, well, I just want to, I just want to get out of here. I know. So bad. I know, but listen, you're going to, you're going to have to hunker down, you know, there's, there's some, now, there's a lot of stuff going on, you know? One, I, one thing I need you to do, is I need you, do you have, you don't have anything to write with or anything to make a list? I have stuff, yeah, not on me, but yeah. Okay, now you don't need to. Make a list of people that would write Yeah, the lawyer you. already told me. Huh? The lawyer already told me. All right, it's important. It needs to be done fairly quickly, okay? Because, you know, uh, we need to get them to the judge. Okay. As part of, as part of your bond. Right? Mm -hmm. The other thing is, there may be, you leave straight from there to go to alcohol rehab. Okay? Okay. That's part of it. Right? How long is that? Four to six weeks. All right. Well, listen. If it helps the case, then I'll do it. Might help you a little, too. Sure. Well, yeah, you know, so. More information's coming out about what happened, you know. Right? Such as? Your BAC level. You know, blood alcohol level. Mm. Yeah, mm. Not good. So that, that, that situation that came out today. And the conversation was, you know, alcohol rehab is something you need to do. You know, you, you need to accept the reality of some of this stuff, baby. Okay? Yes, but now that just makes me even more scared for, like, the future and everything. Listen, the future... 
the future, you can't do anything about. All we could do is all we could do is work with what we have. Okay. Your future is going to be fine. We need to train. Train. Hold on. We need to do what we can now to help your future. Okay. Everything that's being done now is to help you in the future. And the future meeting tomorrow, this week, next week, next month, next year, okay? That's what we're working on, right? Right? Listen, you got you got to get tough. I'm just scared, Dad. I don't want to go away for so so long. Well, listen, we're doing everything we can. All right? Dad, we what got, do you got, <laughs> we got the right people working on it. Where'd you go? You got the right people working on it. Everything's going in the best direction it can. Okay? Nothing more can be done. Nothing. You need, you need, you need to help yourself. You need to help yourself. Okay. You need to help yourself. Okay. You understand? It's so nervous. Well, listen. Of course, you're going to be nervous, but you need to help yourself the best that you can. Okay. Everything is being done to help you the best that we can. We got Deb, we got Chris, we got Nathan. All star. Okay? You need you need you need to help yourself though. And you need, to, you need to realize what's important right now and what's not. Right? I know what's important. I know what's important. Well, you kind of, you kind of aggravated me a little bit yesterday. How? Worrying about the stupid cat. It's not stupid. Stop saying that. Jamie, there's much more important things to worry about than that. I cat. understand that now. I understand that. Okay, Please. well, listen, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad, but I could not, you know, it, you know, I, I'm bringing it up at a time when we're talking about, you know, helping yourself and what's important. And yesterday I got, I got, yeah. I got a little annoyed when you were, you know, bitching about the cat. Don't worry about that. You just think about yourself. And everybody that's trying to do the best they can for you. Right? Here you go. This is not going to be easy. I just don't want to be sent away for like 15 years or something. Listen, we're working on avoiding all of that. 
We should not be talking about things like that. Dang, I'm just nervous. I'm just... <laughs> so am I, Jamie. But, um, listen, the heart is breaking, okay? Absolutely destroyed. Don't let your heart break because of me. Listen, of course my heart breaks for you. But I... I am... Listen, my heart is broken for you, but I have to do what I have to do to help you. I have to put that heart aside and think like a AI robot and just do whatever I have to do to help you. Even if it hurts, even if the things that I say and the things that I have to do are not very pleasant sometimes, but it's what needs to be done to help you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Wanna know why? Why? Because Daddy O loves his baby. Right? I love you too. I love I you know, too. Baby. I know. And I'm doing everything I can to make this is you know, the best the best result as possible. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So, talk to Grandma and Grandpa a little bit today. They love you. They said to tell you. All right? Mm -hmm. Make sure you call your sister and let her know why you haven't called because of your stupid headphones. Okay. I don't even okay. want to call her right now. I just want to go in my room and cry. Well, listen, it's still early. You go cry a little, and then call your sister. All right? I'm glad you, did you call your mother. I'm not a bad mother? person. I'm just I'm not a bad person. I quiet, quiet, quiet. Quiet, quiet. Everybody knows that. Everybody that matters. And everybody that that counts and loves you knows that. Okay? Well, sometimes really terrible things happen to really good people. So, that's the end of that conversation, understand? Yes. You are pretty without makeup, correct? Thank you. You're welcome. Especially when you're crying, you ain't got a lot of black stuff running down your cheeks. <laughs> Smile, didn't you? Yeah. You better watch out, because Daddy will make you laugh if you pay attention to what's going on. Daddy will I just want to get out of here. Listen, we're working on, we're working on. Well, I like you and mommy and Kelsey and CJ. Listen, we're work, we're working on the best that we can, but we really can't talk too much about what's going on, okay? I'm saying I just want to hug you guys so bad. So do I, Jamie. So does, so does your mom, okay? And as soon as, as soon as it is possible, we will be hugging you. All right? There's, okay. there's, things, there's things going on that we can't talk about. But as soon as that is possible, that's going to happen. Now it's not, it's going to be you know, weeks, a month, well, six weeks, eight weeks from now. But it's, it's not an easy thing to get done. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, but you know, you know, Daddy is working on it. I know. Thank you. Oh no, baby, I love you. I mean, I even figured out the stupid e-message thing tonight. I, I I figured out how to fund your commissary from my computer. That's good. I I have not used this laptop that I've had for. A couple of years, and it's a good one. It's, it's you know, I, I actually I stole it from work. 
but you know, I I have not used it as much as I've used it in the past week, two weeks as I've used it since I've had it. That's good. Another well, thank thing, you. you know, come on, of course. The other thing is, I'm carrying my phone a lot, just in case you call. Thank you. Now, when you call and I don't answer, it's probably because you called the other, you know, I went yesterday. And what I did was I had to run into a job site trailer to drop off some paperwork, and you called while I was in there. That's okay. I'm not, I don't, you don't have to answer every single time I call. I understand. You, I'll just message you after. I don't. I know I don't have to, but I want to. I know. Okay? Okay. So listen, we got three minutes, 30 seconds left. And I'm going to talk until they kick us off. So I'm going to tell you right now how much I love my sweetie. And that I miss you very much. And we are working on doing everything we can for you, and I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Okay? All right. All right. You can get a little tough. Only, only two minutes, 15 seconds left. So we, we already did the I love you, I love you. Huh? I love you, too. Ah, see me, I know, see me. But now that we got that over with, we can just keep talking until they kick us off. Right to the very last millisecond. All right? All right. So, listen. You, you figure out how to get the best out of where you're at. You need to be nice to the correction officers. You need to be nice to certain people. Even that lady that you didn't like yesterday or the day before. No, I'm, be, I'm being nice. I'm being nice. You have to learn how to how to live and use the system to your advantage, okay? Yeah, I'm still getting used to it. I know. You, know, you have to learn how to... Not not survive, but thrive for your life. Yeah, and um, okay. I saw I saw um I forget I was forgetting her Kirsten. Yes. Sh I saw Sh her. Sheriff Sh Sh Graziano. I saw her again today, and she said that she's gonna set up a call um with her friend who like went through a similar situation, like a video call. So I'm doing that tomorrow. So that should be good. Yes, yes, that's going to be very good. Mm -hmm. Right now, she has a situation where one of her deputies uh, got a bit of trouble. So she understands where you're at, okay? And she's sympathetic. She's a very, very nice lady. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. All right, well, we're almost over. All right. And, uh, and listen, listen, so call me. <laughs> Over the weekend, video calls can be tough because I don't, I don't have like a schedule on the weekend. You know what That's I mean? okay, Dad. That's okay. Video, video calls are going to be like Monday to Friday, and then you need to call me whenever you can. Okay, I will. All right. All right. And I will always answer when I can. Okay. All right, we only got a couple of 15 seconds. I love you, baby. I love you too, Daddy. And I am doing everything I can for you. And you just hang in there. No more crying. No more standing. Smile for Daddy. Smile. Smile. Right now. Okay. Right now. Now. Smile. 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 <laughs> love you. All right, love you, baby. Smile, honey. Hello. I see you. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm a, well, 
got a little city street going right now. Yeah. Hello? Being yeah. Now, not, not, no, not on the level of your city street, but on my level of city street. Mm -hmm. First thing, first thing, my toilet seat broke. Oh no. And so what happened was, you know, on the underside of the toilet seat, they got these two little, like, knobs that keep it, like, level on the toilet. Mm-hmm. Well, the knobs broke. Mm -hmm. I went to go sit on the toilet, and I was crooked. Oh, my and goodness. It was bothering my back. And then, you know, I had to, like, you know, press one out, you know what I mean? <laughs> I hurt my back some more because my back was crooked. I was trying to squeeze one out. Oh my gosh, be careful. So I had to go to Walmart this weekend and get two new toilet seats. Okay, well, I'm glad you did that. Yeah, so <clears throat> at least I'm not going to hurt my back too much. Mm -hmm. Right? That's good. Yeah. Then somebody stole my credit card information. It probably happened at Walmart when you were getting your toilet seats. I don't know. That was on the smart chip thing, you know? Mm. Right? Probably a gas station then. What's that? Probably a gas station then. Don't use that at the gas station. I'm very, very secure with my credit card. I don't know how the hell they got it. You know, they sent money, Western Union, to themselves or whatever, 800 bucks. You know? And then what happened was they sent the 800 bucks, and then they tried again real fast to do 500, and Bank of America shut it down. They denied them. I wonder if they got the money. Huh? I wonder if they, they got, got the money. money. Western Union sent the money. Yeah. But I told Bank of America, I said, I ain't paying, and you go after Western Union. I said, they should have never accepted my credit card information. How the hell did they process a cash transaction without my card physically there? Oh, yeah. So, Bank of America said, I will not be paying for the agency. That's good. Right? Yeah. And then at work, it looks like somebody applied for a PPP loan fraudulently in our name. 150000 Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. So now, now I'm dealing with them, and that's hard because you're dealing with the federal government. They suck. Yeah. The federal government highlights all stupid people. Because they can't get jobs in the normal, you know, uh, you know, economy. So they hire all the dumb ones because they can't get jobs. Oh, boy. That's what I got to deal with. Well, hopefully it, they figure that out. Yeah. They have no choice. I'm not paying for that either. Yeah. The bottom line is, I'm going to say to the SBA, Small Business Association, where did you send the money? And that's not my address. So you sent it to somebody that's not me. So go find them. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So I, I filled in with my toilet seat issues and stuff. What you got? Well, that's good. Um, I saw Deb today. That was good. How was she? She's good. She's always good. Um, she said she'll probably see me again later this week. Um, right. she said she's probably gonna file the bail thing. Um, but either by the end of this week or early next week. Um, so that's good. Yeah, that's that's very important. It's very important to file file correctly, you only have, like, one shot at it, you know? Yeah, and I read, like, the rough draft, and the rough draft looked, looked good. Um, so just praying about that. 
Um, I spoke with uh, the counselor today, and so that was good, and she made me feel a little bit better just about, like, the whole situation. Okay, okay, good, good, um, good. So that was good. Cal counselor, counselor there or the counselor from death? Counselor here. Okay, okay, well, very experienced, yeah. I'm sure. Guy or girl? It's, it's a, it was a girl this time. Um, okay. I talked to her like once or twice before, but I was just having a lot of anxiety after like meeting up with Deb, just thinking about everything. So I, I talked to the counselor, and then I felt like pretty better after that. Um, Good. Yeah, and yeah, you now I'm just I'm on my rec time, and I'm just waiting until I'm gonna call her a little bit. Talking to my daddy. -o, gonna. Probably a little bit after this. Maybe play some solitaire. Wait, I want to ask you a question. Go ahead. What do you know. Oh, you had to write it down. Okay. In crossword puzzles, what does when they say A B? Like, hold on, let me find an example. Wait, not, because abbreviation is A-B-B-R, but sometimes it'll just say A-B, hold on. Where is it? Maybe next time underline it and call me. Yeah, maybe I'll ask you next time. <laughs> you finished your book, right? Yeah, I finished my book. That's called The Quest? Yeah. Oh, Lawyer's GP. Lawyer's what? Lawyer's, what? Lawyer's GP. GP, period. General practice? Oh, okay. Right? Would, would, would FPO make sense? FPO? Nope. Well, it starts with an F. Starts with, are you sure? No, Five. actually. Four, four letters? It's three letters. It starts with an F. Three letters? I was thinking lawyer's firm, but that don't fit. It's three letters, and I think it starts with an F. You think it starts the one with that an F. Goes, Because the one that goes down from there is a current craze, which is... A current what? A current craze. Wait, no, no, the one that goes down from there is... Wait. Oh, I don't know, actually. All right, well, so your crossword puzzle was all banged up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you up and up down, you ain't got nothing going on. A bird that swims, I said, to be a pelican. Huh? A bird that swims, I said, would be a pelican. How about penguin? <gasps> penguin! That's <laughs> definitely it. Penguins don't even fly. All they do is waddle yeah, and you're swim. So right. All right, well, listen, you fill in your new word, and we'll talk again about your crossword puzzle. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but then, so I started. I've just been, I was still, I finished my book, I'm so mad because now I have to find a new book on my tablet thing, but like, it doesn't give you like, a description of the book. So well listen, I, I got two, I got two books for you. You like the quest, it has to do with the Pope and religion and stuff? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yep. The Da Vinci Code. Ooh. That was a movie that Tom Hanks did, but it was it was a book first by somebody Brown, I believe his last name was. Okay. And then the sequel to that is Angels and Demons. Okay, got it. And it has to do with like killing the Pope and all that kind of stuff. Similar similar to the quest from what I from what you told me.
Well, that sounds good. Hopefully they have it on there. Cause some, they, don't, they don't even have Harry Potter on there. And I was like, what the hell? But they're right. getting rid of all the books here because they don't want people bringing in contraband. So. Well, but then, you're there, so... You're there, with to, some, you're there with some unscrupulous people. Yeah. So... But what about the counselor? About, uh, the counselor helped a lot. I like ca talking to the counselor, but then um, to make myself feel better, I wanted to write some stuff down. So I was like, I'm going to write family and things I love about them. Okay. So do you want to hear yours or mommy's first? Because I only have you and mommy so far. Well, mo mom's must be a short list. You might as well go with her first. Okay. Mommy says. Always knows how to make you feel so loved and safe. Always lets you know how much she loves you. She can always make you smile with her goofy ways. She is so real and true to herself. What you see is what you get. She is not afraid to be herself and has so much love to give. She always knows how to make someone feel special and put a sparkle in their heart. She may be tiny, but she has the biggest heart and so much strength. She will always be my mommy. And also, she gives the best hugs and cuddles. <laughs> and she's a pain in daddy's ass. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, so that's what I said about mom. Okay, okay do you want to what I said about you? Well, this you're going to cry, so I, you're gonna cry, so I don't know. Yeah, but it's okay. Okay. So I said daddy. I said daddy. Daddy, yeah. home. So. Daddy O. He is so strong and smart. He's a teddy bear, hard on the outside but soft on the inside. He doesn't Wrong. like to admit it. <laughs> yeah, I, he doesn't like to admit it, admit it, but he has such a big heart. He will always help you no matter what. He gives the best advice. He can make me smile no matter what. Seriously. I said I love that he protects our family and will never turn his back on us. He is reliable, kind, and smart. The best part is he doesn't even know it. I'm not soft on the inside. <laughs> yeah, you are. I don't know about that. You are too. All right, I'll okay. Listen, don't tell nobody, okay? <laughs> That's my secret we do. So now I gotta write Kelsey and CJ. CJ's gonna be left. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I saw you talk to CJ, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I sent him the money for the call. Don't worry about that kind of stuff, okay? I'll take care of all that stuff. You call and do whatever you want. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. I had a, The other thing is I wanted to tell you, in case something happens, like we have a session and I'm not on or whatever, or, you know, you call me or something, well, the... the per, the, the big thing is for the session, because what happened was I was scrambling because of the credit card issue. My credit card was used for all of this stuff, right? Well, they just canceled my credit card because it was, you know, compromised, and I had to start entering new shit. It was a pain in the ass. It wouldn't let me. So if something does happen where we have a session and I'm not on or whatever, it's because of something like that. Okay, that's okay. I can just call you. Yes. The other thing is our next session is Wednesday at our time. Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right, good, good. And hopefully by that time you maybe find these two books. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited to look those up. Um, and I'm just waiting for bond court now, you know? Just waiting yeah, well, you know, so am I. Just remember, though, that the courts are backed up, so it could be a while. I freaking hope not. Oh, uh, listen, and the thing is, you get really kind of like one shot at it. So it's really up to the lawyers getting, you know, Deb and Chris and, and uh, the other guy. Uh, Evan? No, Ned. Ned. Uh, what's his name? Yeah, what's his name? Starts with an H. H. Not. 
Follow the other guy. I, I can't think of his name right now. But it's up to them on when they can get the court date. Nathan. Also, when huh? Nathan, Nathan. 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 Two big, powerful guys. All I know is everybody wants to know how you ended up with these two guys on your set. Who said that? Uh, everything. The newspapers, everybody. Yeah, I don't really like to talk about that stuff. No, but I'm just telling you, you got the best of the best. Even everybody Thank says you. that. Not just me. That's okay. true. Yes. Yeah. The best. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just really hoping that it goes well. I mean, I don't think I'm a threat to society at all, and I'm not. And I'm Depends on who you not. talk to. Yeah, okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Nice face, nice smirk. But, um, I'm just hoping that it goes well and that they let me go back to Jersey. Um, so. Yeah, well, you know, it's like I said, you know, it's when the court date is available and also when the attorneys are ready. Mm -hmm. If you go before they're ready, then it's the waste of the bond here. They're not ready. Yeah. They don't want to go. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now there's going to be, um, you know, there's going to be stipulations involved with you getting bonded. Yeah, I know. Like one of them is going to be rehab. Yeah, that's fine. I, I'm, I'm, I told her I'm willing to do whatever they want me to do. I don't care what I have to do. Okay, listen, Jamie. That is the perfect attitude. Okay, okay. I brought this up because there are going to be things that are not, you know what you want to do, but it's going to be what you have to do. Yeah, I'll do whatever I have to do. I just want to be I love that right. attitude. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm setting it up, you know, uh, information and stuff with them, with the attorneys and letters and stuff like that. So, we're, we're, we're getting there, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I would think it's not going to be before you know, four more weeks. Well, we'll just see. I mean, it depends on when she when she puts it in, and then. Right, and when the court date's available. And tomorrow, right. first thing, tomorrow first thing in the morning, I am going to uh, question them about the letters of support because they never told me how to who to address it to. What had come up? They don't know who the judge is. So they had mentioned to address them that to your honor, but I want to know definitively how to do it so I don't mess it up. If they said to address it to mommy, address it to mommy. No, these are support letters that are written from the people that you gave me and other people that we know of already. Yeah. So to who, the judge. So to the to the judge. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. The letters are, Your Honor, Sir, I've known Jamie, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Who do you have on the list that's going to write? Uh, besides the people you have? Or, like, who, who has, like, contacted you back? I, we haven't talked to anybody yet, because when I contact oh. them, I want to be able to give them the information. It, it's okay, well, there. yeah. It's less of what they put in it, what they shouldn't put in it. Okay, don't well, let's make sure we get on that. Well, I'm baby case. I'm on it. I know. Okay. But I think that might be, she said something about how she's not really going to mention it, maybe like during the case, but give the, give the letters after something so that people aren't calling them or something. I don't know. Right. So... So what, that's what I want to clear up. So right now we're almost there on requesting these letters from the people, okay? But I want to make sure it's done properly and right. The first thing you do, what What are you laughing about? I cued it. <laughs> Uh-oh, clear the room. <laughs> if there's nobody in there, that's a good thing. There's if no. there's somebody in there, they're going to be heading for the door. <laughs> 
So, but I want them done properly and correctly because a wrong letter is worse than no letter. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. What do you think? What do you think, Daddy? You ain't got this shit. I know. I know. All right, baby Kate. Okay. Now, how's your coloring coming along? Good. I'll show you. Hold on. Nice. nice. That's an easy one. Was was that was? Uh, uh, oh, okay, okay. Looks like looks like a European kind of city. That's what I said. And then this one, I just I wasn't sure. I think it was supposed to be San Francisco, so I did San Francisco. That is San Francisco. You see that tower on the right? Yeah. You see the bridge in the background? I know the bridge. I, I did the bridge red. I don't know the, what the, the tower, tower on the right. I think is is a bank building. Oh okay. Okay, it's a famous building, but I don't see I don't see the uh, the homeless drug addicts pooping in the street though. <laughs> Mike Rowe lives in in San Francisco, which I'm surprised about. Who? Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll probably be moving out. That one there, that lo that looks more like maybe uh, Italy a, a or Greek, Greece a or Greek island, a Greek island with the houses on yeah. the cliffs. Right? And then maybe this is Italy. the one I'm doing now. Listen, if you color them all in one day, you're going to want the color. Uh, well, or maybe I was, you should I finish one. I, I see like, a lot of white spaces. I see a lot of white spaces on your coloring table. Yeah. I, will, I was also thinking, like, how do I know if I order the next, like, another one if it's not just going to be the same thing next week, you know? Well, you have to find out. I will. The other thing is you should find Oh, I got new headphones, which is good. You got them? I got new headphones. How um, are they? They finally... They, they, they didn't come with my package, but they finally just gave me some because I was just, like, having a mental breakdown today, and I just yeah. wanted and I just needed them. Listen, listen, little girl. You be nice to everybody there. No, I am. I am. It, it, oh, it's okay, not, I'm, okay, I'm, okay. I'm being nice. I'm being nice. It's just I was just having a tough time, so. Um, all right. But, all right. All right. Tough times are, are plentiful. Yeah. Right. One of the one of, one of my favorite people is working tonight. He's really nice. I like him a lot. Um, he's okay. really nice, so that's good. All right, maybe you talk to him a little bit, pass some time. Mhm. Mm yeah. yeah. Tell him what a pain he is. Your mother is. <laughs> Hi, baby. Just my. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. You well, can't help it's day me. by day. Day, day by day. day. Actually, today I looked up on Vine, I Googled uh, Psalms and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But you, the, the Psalms are actually longer than one line, like you said, said. They're actually almost, you know, there's almost like a paragraph. No, the, the Psalms are like a paragraph. Yeah, I just picked out a part of the Psalm that I like. Right, right, right. So, yeah. I was going to start reading them, but they're awfully long. There's like 95 of them. You just pick one a day. Like, I've been doing this shit for a month, you know? Pick pick one a day. That's what I do. I read one a day. Oh, do you and have them? I, wrong? Yeah, I have a whole Bible. They give me a whole Bible, and then she showed me where to find, like, the Psalms. Okay. So, what Psalm are you I'm, on? I'm going to, I think, uh, like, three. Good. Well, I'll start, and I'll catch up to you. But, um... Nine, she told me that she told her kids to read 91 every day, so she, one of the nice nurses told me to read 91, so that was good. All right, um, all right. Well, now that I know that you're reading them and you're all the way up to three, I'll catch you. Okay. All right, and maybe we'll talk about some. And I want to know, are, I know that inspiring. she said if I, you know, do get bonded out and I get, like, house, like house arrest or whatever, 
Um, I'm not allowed to leave moms at all unless I'm going to work. I wanted to ask if I would be able to go to church on Sundays. So I got to remember to ask. Okay. Because I think there's a church close to mom that I can ride a bike to. So, like, if I could, like... Well, don't like bring your mama because lightning will strike. <laughs> I got to the lab again. Do do that. I'm really hoping I could stay in Brooke, though, because it would be nice to have mommy and CJ. And, you know, mommy, you know. Well, that's, that's the goal, and we have plans. Because yeah. your mom works. Well, she doesn't work all summer, so that's, that's one thing. But we're working on the fact that... <laughs> You know, CJ can stay home with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> know what, you know what she said? Know what she said, Deb? Know what Deb said? What? You know, because she's like the media person and how to present things to the stupid-ass media. She goes, yeah, we'll tell them. And Jamie's brother, CJ, loves her so much, he's willing to bypass anything in his life and stay home with her. <laughs> I look, I'm listening to them going, yeah, they're going to kill each other now the second day, okay? They're going to fucking kill each other. <laughs> I'm going to walk them outside. <laughs> but listen, these are the things we're doing, okay? Yeah, exactly. All right, so I, made, I, made a, I made a call today, an inquiry about rehab. She said okay. there might be one in Charleston. No, I want you, you know, hopefully you come, we bond you to Jersey, it'll be in Jersey. It's a place I've been to, it's kind of nice. It's like I'll in the go woods. anywhere, I don't, it's like I don't in the care, woods. Dad. Well, listen, I'm working on that, okay? Okay. All right, we got a minute 30 left. One of the things is, is before we get cut off, especially on a phone call, I like to tell you how much I love you and how much of my heart is, is with you, okay, and kind of like, you know, smashing together over there, and, you know, and then that way, once I tell you how much I love you, then we can keep talking until they kick us off, like last well, night with the phone call, too. like last night with the phone call, all of a sudden, uh, yeah, like, I, know. Hey. I was like, I was going to call you again, and I was like, he knows, okay, <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's, Everything is good. Uh, you know, we have another phone call Wednesday for a video call. You know, you call me whenever. Uh, we're mm -hmm. going to set up another video call probably Friday, maybe. Uh, hopefully, my credit card isn't banged up. We only have 35 seconds left, so I love you, baby. I love and you too. Thank you so much. Ah. Please. Uh, also, did you get a more. haircut? Huh? Did you get a haircut? Yeah, it sucks. Some Spanish girl did it. She put I okay. think it looks good. <laughs> I think it sucks. No, yeah, I think... I, I like it. I was going to say it looks good. Well, it doesn't. It, it only looks good because we're on this thing. Okay. I love I you, Daddy. I four. I love you, baby. I love, I love you. you so much. Thank you so much. I love you, baby. I'll talk to you. I love you, too. Okay. Love you. Bye, Daddy-o. Love you. Good night. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Hello. I see you. Sorry I'm a little late. That's all right. I would, wait, I, would waited, I would have waited until the 30 minutes was up. Turn the screen around. I want to see. What? Turn your computer. I want to see what the apartment looks like. <laughs> All righty. Nice. Oh, cool plant. Hey, your mother got it for me. I like it. Look at this. Nice lizard, love it. <laughs> what is that for? I can't see what it's taking a picture of. Like, this it's is, the I got this for Christmas. It's my practice putting green. Oh. Now, what happens is that there's holes over here. There's holes that they kept tripping on. I put the coaster over so I wouldn't trip. Oh, okay. Smart. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Looking good. Yeah. Oh, I miss that place. I haven't been in so long. I miss your yeah. apartment. Yeah. We had we had fun at your apartment. Yeah, you see you see my friend? Mm-hmm. Uh, He's my out. Favorite, my favorite corner. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Spreck, what? Toothpaste. <laughs> That's where I live. Yeah, I miss it there. We had a lot of fun there. Yeah, we used to spend a lot of weekends here. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, lots of we, lots of movies, lots of Chinese food, lots of Rita's. Right, 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 right. Lots of weird fruit from King's. Oh yeah, we used to go to King's and we used to get a little quail eggs and scoop crap like that. And weird fruit. Yeah. Well, King's is gone. Yeah, what is it now? Did they ever turn it into anything? They tore down that whole building and putting up condos or apartments or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, big, big construction. Hmm. Ask them who they're using for glass. Huh? Ask them if they know who they're using for glass. Maybe they could be a new customer. No, we, that's not the kind of building we would do. That's non-union thing. Gotcha. They can't afford to put that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Actually, the building that we're doing is the new Newark Family Courts building. Big job. That sounds big. Yeah, it's like 12 million. Well, it's not too far away either, so that's good. Yeah, a lot of glass. It's all glass building. Mm -hmm. So, how are you? I'm hanging in there as best good, I can. Good, good. I spoke, you, spoke with Deb for good. a little today. What's that? Thank you. I spoke with Deb for a little today. Um, but on the phone, answered some of came. her questions. On the phone, she's going to come on Friday, um, okay. and then she's going to put it in motion on Monday, I guess, or you know, send the request for a bond hearing on Monday. Right. Um, well, I'll be talking there, to her before then. Yeah. Uh, what did she talk to you about? What did she say to you? She, you know, she just, you know. Asking questions, getting information. I met um, the, the younger girl that kind of helped her out in the office who's going to help me out a little bit. Who's that? Her name is Paige. Some younger girl who works in the office with her. Oh, I don't know her. Yeah, she's nice. I think she's going to help me. Um, but, you know, just hanging in there as best as I can and... That's, that's, all you, that's all you can do. Day by day, mm -hmm. faith, hope, and prayer. Yep. Okay? Mm hmm And if you get the tattoos, I'm going to tear your arms off. Okay. All right? I got a new so, psalm today. I, I, in fact, I, I loaded, I had a busy day today, so I went online and I got the uh, psalm. Uh, uh, all of them. And oh, good. You click, on the you click on the number and it brings up that song. Which one, which one are you doing now? This is Psalm 23. Hold on, let me write it down. Write down. Psalm 23. 23. What is it? It says, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his hands for his for his hand's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Very nice. That's a very nice song. You know? 
kind of, it's kind of appropriate, isn't it? Right? So, did you, yeah. did you, did that, did that lady tell you about that song, or did you find it yourself? She told me about that one. I like this lady. Yeah, she's really nice. She's like my favorite nurse. Okay, okay, good. Good, I'm glad you found a favorite nurse. Hey, is there a way, or can I send you, like, books or something? You're saying you're short on books. They're going completely send? paperless. Huh? They're going, com they're going to go completely paperless, so there's no books. I can't have any books. Well, how are you supposed to read? From the, they have, like, books that you can pick off of these, like, ta off the tablet. Oh, the tablet you have that you're using? Yeah, that's a little All difficult. Right. It's difficult? Yeah. Are you on the internet? Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me know. Can you search something for me? I don't know that I can. Because of the way the setup is? Oh. Uh, no, I was just going to ask you if you, if you okay. Because it's, it's the Securist, Securist ebook library. I was going to see if you could down, search like. I'll, I'll check it out. Securist, because I'm on, on Securist now. For, try to search like best books on Securist, S E C. U R U S. Now, uh, listen, Securist is the company that we're using right now. Yeah, ebook library. E -book library. ebook library. All right, I'll look into it and I'll e message you. Okay, thanks. See, see, if you, okay. see if there's anything that pops up when you search that. All right, or maybe I can, you know, copy a list and put it in the e message as long as I don't go over the allotted. Uh, amount of letters to use, right? Yeah. Hold on one second. Let me let me let me do something real quick. I'm gonna ask them if they can plug my tablet in. One second, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm back. What did you have to ask them? I wanted her to, I just asked her to plug in my iPad for me. Or to charge? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, I spoke with the doctor. I told him my anxiety is still pretty bad, so he's going to help me out and try to get me some different types of meds or something. Right. Um. And I also kind of told them that it's getting really lonely in there just by myself, so they might, like, put me with other people or something or figure something out. I don't know. All right. Well, you keep um, talking to the doctor and, and, the, uh, and the people that you like there. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, there's um, nothing else you can do. Yeah. Hey, are you, are, you then, taking, are you taking all your medication, including the hormones and stuff? Yeah. They got that for you? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's just birth control. Uh, I don't know what it is, baby. That's girl stuff. <laughs> okay. Just birth control, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, as long as, you know, you're taking it. Were you taking it? Have you been taking it? Yeah. Okay. So that's something that you've been on top of and taking care of. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Well, let's just, you know, question how to make sure you're getting all the proper care. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. All right. So, Deb so, said they're going to make what's up. I said, yeah, so that's basically it. So, Deb said they're going to make the motion, what, Monday or something? Mm-hmm.
All right. Well, <laughs> you know, it, it, sometimes it's hard to talk to you to let you know certain things because it's, they're difficult. I know, yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't want to make you sad. But we're working on getting you on. Okay. I know. That's, that is kind of a tricky situation. I know. So we're gonna get it done. All right. We're working hard. We have different plans, and uh, we can't do it. If Daddy O can't, if Daddy O can't do it, it can't get done. I'm willing to do whatever they want me to do. I know. Whatever they want me to do, I'll do it. I know, and I'm looking. You know, we know. I know that, and the attorneys know that, and so that is what is going to be presented a bit during the motion, and then when you actually have the bond court, whenever they make that date, then additional more set in stone information is going to be provided okay? on how and how, uh, how if you get bonded that it's a good thing and that you know you're going to be in the proper place and proper hands okay yeah no matter where that is huh oh. I'm hoping New Jersey, but... Well, listen, so are we. That, that would be the best, okay? But I'll take anything, you know. You know, listen, there's nothing, there's nothing more that can be done, particularly by you. You just be good in, in where you're at. Uh, I know, that makes it, that's like one of the worst feelings, though, is that I, I, I can't do anything. Like, I feel so helpless, you know, but... Well, right now you are. But, you know, once we get you bonded, you'll be more involved. Yeah. Have you gone for any other walks lately? When? After work? You went on that one hike, you said. Yeah, that was on the weekend. Oh, you can go for a little walk after work. Uh, I don't get home till 5.30 by the time I get home and I watch the news. Now it's already six six thirty. Then I go to you know I go to bed at like eight o'clock. Mhm. Mm you know I want to put a little movie on or something. You know. So you know lately when you come on the screen, I say I see you. That is from I believe it's two movies. One is. From uh, Revenant, which is with Leonardo DiCaprio back in like 1820s out in the West, like in the Rocky Mountains. Ooh, that sounds good. The Revenant? Yeah. Hyper, hyper violent. <laughs> uh, he, gets, he gets half eaten by a bear. Oh, I heard of that one. He won a, yeah. a something for that. Well, yeah, you probably heard that, you know, some people thought that the bear was having sex with Leonardo DiCaprio because of, because of the way that the movie is, but the way the oh shot God. is, you know, the bear's like attacking him from the back and everybody's like, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> exactly. And I was like, no, but, you know, some people are stupid, they said that. But what happens is that his son is with him and, uh, how it had a lot to do with uh, Native American tradition and stuff. And when and he's, he's dying because somebody attacked him and killed him. Mm -hmm. And he's staring into his face saying, I see you, I see you. He's saying back, I see you. You know, kind of like as, you know, as things are going on, like a 50 like that. Also, I, I believe... You. Huh? I see you. I see you. And also, I believe it's in Avatar. Yeah, I haven't seen Avatar either. You never saw the original Avatar? 
Ah, it's a good one. You know? Yeah. But they also do that. So, you know, uh, the Avatar girl, Zoe Zelenia, whatever her name is, and the human guy that turns into an Avatar, when they, when they get together, their, their first, when they, it's always, I see you. So, you know, when they, when they meet up or whatever, it's, I see you. It's not like, hello. I see yeah. you. So. Can always be worse. Things can always be worse. Just trying to... What's that? I'm saying, like, you know, like, things could always be worse. There's people in other worse situations. So I just have to keep faith and hope and be grateful yes. for the things I do have, you know? Yes, yes, baby. Things, things can always be worse. Yes, they can be better. You know, you're, you're in a really shitty spot, but they could be much worse. Mm -hmm. Okay? I mean, you could have got killed. You could have got injured. Okay? You could have lost the limb. So, where you're at's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. And you look at, you look at, say, poor Aunt Christine, right? Mm -hmm. When she had to live through her whole life. Now right. she's, um, my grandpa is going to be, she's getting migraines and stuff now. She's on heavy medication. She's always in pain. She's getting very, very heavy, like, really bad. So, so, you know, there's always somebody... Whenever you listen, whenever you think you got a bed, just turn around and look behind you because there's something behind you that's got it worse. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, and it'll, everything will eventually be okay. Yes. Just with I'll time. be there. I'll be there the whole time with you. I know. Okay? Pushing it along. And trying to get you the best situation that I can. I know, Dad. But just also make sure you take time to take care of yourself, too. That's why I was happy when you said you went on that hike. That was good. Yeah, I'm taking care of myself, too. You see this big stogie I got going? Okay, in other ways. Huh? huh? In other ways. You can take care of yourself in other ways. No, oh, well. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know... Well, oh, one thing I wanted to tell you was tomorrow, um, if you try to call, I might just not be able to take your call going to dinner. With, okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, with Grandma, Grandpa, uh, Kelsey Christian, and CJ and Savannah for Grandma's birthday. Okay, make sure you tell her I said happy birthday. Of course. Okay. Everybody loves you. Everybody's thinking about you all the time. All right? Yeah. Hey, listen. Nothing for nothing. But you wouldn't have been able to go to dinner anyway. You live in South Carolina. I know. I just want to be with my family. We're working on that. One way or another. Even if they don't bond you to New Jersey, I'm going to figure something out for you. Yeah. Well, okay. I'll figure something out. Yeah. Okay? Okay. And it's going to be you know, a difficult push, but I'll make something happen. Okay. Right? Yeah. Right. Well, listen, you know, uh, I'm, I'm glad to see that you are not so devastated anymore. You kind of, you know, not uh, letting your emotions get control of you. Okay? Yeah, today was tough, but I'm just kind of, like, trying just to, you know. Right, I, I sensed it in your voice when you called me today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to tell you the truth, what happened was... As I got the call from you, I'm waiting for the message to go out. I pick up the phone, I start heading for 
the back of the shop. I don't want nobody to hear us. So I go outside and I accept the call for freezing my ass off. It's the first day I didn't bring my jacket. It's like cold. I stand in the middle of the street on Elizabeth Avenue and I'm like freezing. I'm like, I'm really cold. I gotta get inside. <laughs> so that's why I had to cut it short a little bit. I was fucking freezing. That's it. That's okay. I can't believe it was that cold. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it was. It was like you know, it was like say 55, but there was a wind, you know, coming from the north, so it was like a chilly wind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have to tell you about this movie that I saw. It's one of my. I just watched it today. It's one of my new favorite movies. It's What's called. P it's called um, Peanut Butter Falcon. Peanut butter? Falcon. Last like word I can't get. Falcon. Falcon? Falcon. Like, caca, Falcon. Oh, Falcon. Falcon. It sounds like you were using an S. Peanut butter Falcon. Yeah, peanut butter Falcon. Right. Like peanut um, butter, like the, little, like the little containers you're getting at the commissary. Yeah. Um, and then and then Falcon the bird. Arr, arr. Yeah, it's really good. It's about this um, this kid has Down syndrome and his family like abandons him, so he's been in a uh, like old person home place for a while. Right. And he's like tr he's him. trying to escape. Right. He's trying to escape, and he's obsessed with this one WWE guy because he has an old tape of him, and he's the saltwater swamp slayer or something like that. Right. And, or he's a saltwater wrangler or something, I don't know. Right. And right. he has like a wrestling school that you could go to, so all he wants to do is escape and get to this wrestling school from, and then he's going from Virginia to North Carolina. So, okay. on his, he, he breaks out, he does get out with the help of his old guy friend, and okay. then he's running in his underwear and he hops in this random boat and the guy in the random boat is also on the run. He's okay. a crab fisherman, but the other fisherman caught him stealing crabs from their pots. So they're trying to kill him. So they're both on the run. And the Down Syndrome kid and the crab fisherman guy become like best friends. Okay, good. Good. Well, I'm it's glad really you liked good. it. Uh, uh, how. How can I find out about which movies you get? So you told me, you know, Securus ebook library. Uh, is there a Securus uh, e movie library? Yeah. Um, next time, next time we have video call, I'll bring my um, my tablet, and you could shoot off some movies, and I can search them and see which ones I have. Okay. Um. Because I told you about but, those two books that are, like, similar to The Quest. Yeah, I don't think they, they have them. Well, they're Tom Hanks movies. Oh, so maybe they're on the movie. Okay. Right. The, the Da Vinci Code and, and Da Vinci Code is, say, book one, and Angels and Demons is book two. Okay, cool. And Tom Hanks made the movie. Okay. Okay. So see if you can get them, you'll like them. It's like quest. Have you seen the have you seen the new Elvis movie? No. No. You should. You should. It's good. Ah, yeah. Ah. It's pretty interesting. Like the beginning is cool. It's the cool, first huh? half I like a lot I like the first half better than the second half. Like I I really like the story of like how he became Elvis and like he was really, he was good in, like, he was really influenced by, like, African-American music and, like, their gospel, um, sound, blues. And gospel music, yeah. Blues music. Mm-hmm. So, so. So, it was really yeah, good. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll watch it now that you said so. But I doubt it. It's pretty good. Tom Hanks' character has, like, a weird accent, though. It's pretty weird. Tom Hanks' Ooh. character is, like, oh, okay. Elvis is, like, Ma greedy right. manager who's like kind right. of an asshole. Right, right. Well, listen, we got we got a minute thirty left, and I just want to make sure I tell you how much I love you. I love you too. And we're working hard on trying to help you. Okay.
everything happens for a reason. It's going to be a journey, but we'll come, we'll all come out gonna, better on the be, end. It's going to be a long journey, but at the end, in my heart, I know you're going to be a better person. Thank you. Okay, I know that you're going to come out with some kind of guidance, and something you want to take control of and accomplish in your life. You're going to have a lot of time to think about what you want to do, okay? How you want to live the rest of your life. Yeah, I know. That's giving okay. me anxiety. Huh? Yeah, let's just focus on the bond hearing first. Yeah. That's what we're focusing on. But it's going to be okay, sweetie. Yeah, eventually. Okay? Daddy's going to make sure. Okay, thank you. And oh, you got, mo you you so, got so, money so in the commissary for clean underpants, too, by the way. Thank you. I saw that. Okay. But I was, I was uh, panicking well, because I was panicking because I was having issues with... You're Jen good. You're good. I have, I have plenty eight. of money. I love you. I love, I love you. you. I love you, Love Jamie. you so much. I love you, Jamie. I love I you. Love I'll you. talk to you soon. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. You. Love you. Okay, love you. 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 Do you think that they, they, they're the ones or that have maybe, to end it? Maybe they're liking our conversation since they're listening to it. Maybe they're entertained. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss the next one.